I'll just wait a second. Uh, well, thank you for being still uh, in the room. So uh, not many people have left. So uh, uh, I thank you uh, before I start my conversation uh, to uh, to stay here. And uh, uh, what am I? I'm here to tell you a story about I think the most uh, interesting opportunity that I've come across in the last decade. So. Uh, regaining consumer trust is something that we all want, and our digital economy depends on that. So uh, let me just give a small introduction in five minutes of the initiative uh, around personal data economy. You know, Paul Teiskens, who am I? I'm a web builder. I started uh, when the internet was new in '96. Uh, I had an agency. Uh, I sold my company to Telenet in 2000. So I made uh, a lot of the, the internet websites of Telenet, and then. Um, uh, to give you an example, a lot of what we called in those days Web 1.0, Web 2.0 things, uh, first social networks, chat.be, still works, still 100,000 people chatting in IRC web chat boxes, who can imagine that? And then so ASL page, a small netlog in Limburg. So in, since 2008, I was thinking, you know, what is this next thing? What comes after Facebook? And so I said, you know, it's about time we get all the data of me as a person and then on all my devices and anywhere I go. And then uh, we come to a recommendation of uh, a recommendation service. So finally, now, this technology is here today. We have API economy. We have uh, personal cloud. We have the internet of everything already. And uh, like uh, sentience have shown before, we have AI coming back into the to make it happen. So, of course, Belgium is a bit slow. So there's not much going on around personal data. So I've been looking abroad. Uh, don't have to write it down because the slides will be distributed anyway. But uh, in France, Mesa Info project in England, my data project, I think those are very interesting things going on on the European level that we can learn from. One example, the UK My Data Project is today launching a service uh, called uh, My Bank, in which they get, give you as a user all your uh, current account data with history, so you can compare it and go to a Go Compare. Uh, Mesa Info Project in France puts 300 people all of their history data of banks. Uh, of um, other companies together and then decided to develop new applications around that. So that is basically where we're going to, using all your data. In Germany, they have a bit of a, another story. They say, we want a law around a people API, a people API that will allow us to get all of our data and that company will be uh, prohibited to not deliver you the data through an API when you want it. So why are we looking at personal data? First of all, you know, in UK, they have a lot of initiatives around my data, around personal data, around... And McKinsey calculated that 2.5% of the gross domestic project is a possible uh, market for us to do. So in Belgium, this needs to be a top priority because if we calculate 2.5% in Belgium on our GDP, that's 10 billion. You know, they're looking for 2 billion today, I think. Yeah? So 10 billion is something that could be realized. So uh, that's why I think uh, we should uh, enable growth. And um, a good example in UK, they have energy smart meter data, and they already have, this was last year, now they have 2 million cheap energy club members that actually get the press prize, but not just on a contract that lasts a year, but a contract that changes and that is brokered every two weeks or every week. So um, just an example, I'm going to give a few examples of uh, France. And there they have mixed the data of these 300 uh, people that we've talked about. And just give me, let me give you one example based on the user. I want to buy a couch for my home. And so what, if I have access and I can mix the data of my energy and I can mix the data of my bank, then the application can tell me, hey, if you turn out the light, you know, you already save 15.6 euros. So um, you're on your way to the 500 euro uh, couch or to the 2,000 euro couch that you want to buy. So this kind of services that now they're, a uh, startup always needs problems to solve. I learned from uh, Omar, for instance, that uh, we need to focus on lean and we need to focus on problems. So in personal data, we still have trust issues, we have fair share issues, and we have agility issues because IT cycles today are on average one to two years for, for big companies. So what did we do? We focused on generating. Our, our company has today, as a startup, two million opt-in profiles that we start with of consumers in the market that we can work with. And we're trying to identify academic, other people that can help us with it. We, also looked at an architecture, and the hub of all things in UK has a reference architecture on an API base between user connected things and organizations that I think we can use as an architecture to get it going. So that's basically what we uh, are trying to do. Uh, just introducing the startup called Data Mixer, and we have a personal data platform. Today we use a web technology, Cookie Data. Uh, which is used in internet uh, online advertising as a status to recognize people between emails and between social data and between CRM data. But to the future, there are probably better technology than there is available. What do we do in uh, the business? We help consumers uh, monetize their uh, data. And also we help businesses uh, improve their customer 
connections and relationships with their, their data. And so please, if you have a, a project and we have two million users, so if you have a startup and you're looking for users, a small growth hack in this meeting, please contact me, we'll help you get the users and we need resources and technical platform. Thank you very much. Thank you.